All right, y'all, it's that time of year. We got the spring fever, we got the itch to chase a gobbler. My boy Bucky, he's headed out to Wall Stud Whitetail in West Central Illinois. Let's check it out. All right, so we roll into camp. First time at Wall Stud Whitetails, and I gotta tell you, I didn't even know the amount of bucks that I was gonna walk into in Matt's shop. So we roll in, he just lets me stand there and basically a daze checking out these big bucks. I'm there for turkey, but I could not take a gander at this wall and as you guys can see he's got some studs all right so after standing there checking out all these big bucks he throws me in the can-am we head over to 180 acre farm we're just going to sit there we're going to listen and then we're going to end up glassing but one of the things about this farm is there's a huge pond in the back side of it and these birds like to roost right there. So we like to roll in, sit on the uh, stone lane and listen, and then we'll make a play. What's going on guys? We are here in Illinois. Oh my goodness. I'm here at Wall Stub Whitetails with my boy, Matt. First morning, we are sitting here. We are scoping this farm out and we're hoping to hear some gobbles and we're gonna make a move on them. Guys, I am crazy excited about being here. I'm just hoping that uh, the good Lord blesses us and I don't get gun shy and I miss. <laughs> so here we go. Let's get it rocking. All right, so after sitting there, listening for the gobblers, nothing was rolling. So we decided to make a play, head to the back of the farm where the pond is. And we set up there for a little while. So we got our decoy set up right here. We got a draw, we got some hard timber, we got a little pond right here. We're gonna set up in here and hopefully draw those birds. We heard a couple gobbling down over that hill. So we're gonna try to sneak in here a little bit, see if we can get them to come up here. Hopefully they'll walk somewhat close to us. Maybe come out here, check out this hen. We'll have a great shot. Let's get in the woods. made a few calls, didn't really hear anything. So we got up again and made another move. We ended up running into a bird that was out into the field and the footage is not the greatest, but man, I can tell you how pretty this bird looked in the sunlight. So we're sitting there watching this thing. He's, he's hand up. We're trying to make a play. We're making some calls. It's not happening. So we decided to circle around and get into the timber. So Bucky and Matt, they're in the timber. They're trying to make a move on this bird. They know he's hinned up. They're trying to make some calls. Nothing's really happening. Bucky puts a little sneak crawl. He starts moving, try to peek over the ridge. He makes a couple chirps, nothing. You can see he's still hinned up with that hen at the bottom. So they had to come up with a game plan and make another move. So Bucky and Matt, they make their way out of the timber. They're gonna just go back to where they started in the open food plot and grassy area. So they make their way there. As soon as they get there, 
Wouldn't you know it? Mr. Tom is standing there looking at him, and he uh, spots Matt pretty quickly. You know, if you ever been turkey hunting, once that bird sees you, it's pretty much a wrap. You know, he's not going to stay around long, and uh, needless to say, neither did he. So he went off, they went off, and uh, got a game plan together for day two. Day one was a wrap. They had some action, just couldn't get it done. Appointed Outdoors is brought to you by Winger Ag Solutions. Bucked up. Wall stud whitetails. Under Armour. Protect what matters most. Next gen hunting blinds. All right, so after licking our wounds from day one, day two starts off with a bang. We get up early, we're hitting this farm, it's 152 acres, and I can tell you what, there were birds everywhere, goblin off the roost. So we just decided to get way back in about middle of the way of the farm, and there's a beautiful clover plot. And we're sitting there, and we learned something from day one, and that is patience. So we get in there, get our decoy set up, then the gobbles kind of stopped, and you guys know from turkey hunting that usually when they they hit the ground obviously they slow up a little bit and and that's what happened here <laughs> so while we're sitting there there is an experience that i have never had before and that is a bearded hen came up from the bottom, hit the food plot, come over, check the decoys out, and then literally was standing about five yards from me. She walked in right on top of me and Matt. We're in our Under Armour camo. We're all tucked in there real nice. And literally this bird is standing right beside me and I'm trying to move and look at Matt. Matt's to my right and he's filming all this <laughs> and this bird's making some noise and, and doing her thing and I'm just sitting there literally she could have jumped in my lap. So after that experience, let me tell you, Matt and I, we were laughing, we were having a good time, and then all of a sudden, you know the sound, it gets your blood flowing, and we made a couple yelps, and homeboy was on a rope. You could hear him coming up from the bottom, and as you guys can see here on the video, uh, he puts on a show.
Boom, baby. Boom. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. 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 Guys, I tell you what. I was gonna let him. Oh my goodness. I was gonna let him play, but I didn't want. I didn't want to mess it up. He was coming right towards us. He's looking right at us. <laughs> oh, that turkey is down. My first one in Illinois, baby. My boy Matt on the camera. Oh my goodness. Wall stud, white tails here in Illinois. We just got it done. Let's go check out this bird. Thank you. Oh my goodness, boy. <laughs> my dude, give me some. <laughs> oh goodness. That is a stud, dude. Do you see that rope on that thing? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I cannot, I'm shaking so bad. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Oh, that bird is done. That is a stud of an Illinois bird right now. Oh my goodness, I am freaking, oh my goodness, that bird is beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at the rope. Oh, poor guy shot some of his, some of his rope off, but dude, Spur City. Oh my goodness. Check out them hooks right there. Man, what a pretty, pretty bird. What a pretty bird. Oh my goodness. Right there. That's that's the key guys right there. I'm telling you. As I continue to travel around this country and you know I've made my, my commitment to Christ um, that's it he continues to bless he continues to build this appointed outdoors dream and I have great people around me the the team of the guys that that God has brought is is, is phenomenal um, we just continue to do it and we're gonna share the love of Christ and we're just gonna keep loving the outdoors that's, that's what we're doing so uh, Goodness gracious. I mean, he's that was a what, 25 yard shot maybe, dude. And you know, obviously we were tucked in there really nice, but this, this Under Armour camo fitting in this green, dude, is, is, is nasty. It's beautiful. Uh, me and Matt sitting there and I was just noticing the pattern and how we're fitting in, it, it, it's great. So, all right guys, there we go. First bird down in Illinois, so happy and blessed to be here with Matt. Now we're gonna, we're gonna stop making so much noise and see if we can get Matt on one. <laughs> Let's get it. Dude, that was awesome. Yeah, we were sitting there. I just got out. We hadn't made noise in what, like 15, 15 20, minutes. 20 minutes, yeah. And we're like talking to each other, just saying, like, he's got to be down there. He's got to be down there. And we're talking about doing this and doing that. And I'm like, I just sit. I'm like, I just sit. I'm like, it's going to happen. And then. Well, how many? As soon as I got that out of my mouth, I was like, Bird. Yeah, I, I, did, I didn't see it. And he, he saw it a lot, further, a lot, a lot uh, sooner than I did. But um, we, weren't, we weren't sure if it was, you know, a, a hen or, or a tom. But the biggest thing, I think, that as we continue to do this and as we get older, I mean, people keep telling you patience is key. Yeah. And in turkey hunting, you hear that gobble. You want to get up. You want to chase him. You want to create something for yourself. But w the reason this hunt was successful is because him and I, as we're sitting there, we're talking and we're, we're thinking, okay, look, over the years of us chasing these birds, what was the mistakes that we made? And the mistakes that we made was, was being impatient and chasing that bird and pushing them off or, or doing something that didn't make them feel comfortable in their environment. So this hunt was successful because him and I sat there and we were like, dude, let's just be patient. You know, we're, we are on day two of, the day of a three day hunt we're getting a little impatient on, hey, me, when we want to get this done. Yesterday, we had a scenario where we, we had a Tom out there, and he was strutting all over, and we moved. We tried to get around him. We got around him, but then it ended up being where he circled back, and he came back to where we were. If we would have stayed put, we probably would have nailed that bird, right? Yep. Yep. And so we, we, we learned from that experience yesterday. And so we sat here, and we said, hey, let's not get up. Let's just be patient. We got the decoys out. We got hens jumping in our stinking laps so <laughs> we said let's just be patient and look what happened so it was awesome great tip for you guys be patient in the in the turkey woods so <laughs> all right my man pointed outdoors is also brought to you by 
Vortex Optics. Black River. Quincy Tractor. Brew Buck Outfitters. Brew Buck Outfitters, Mexico. So as you guys can see, I was just a little bit excited for knocking down my first Illinois bird. Um, that experience and watching that that Tom come up out of the bottom, strutting like crazy, come running in hardcore, head down, coming in to tear up that decoy. And I didn't want to let him do too much and mess up because he was in line with me and Matt as we were sitting there. He was coming directly towards us. I like to try to have that scenario where I like to let him play a little bit, but I just didn't want to take that chance after day one. I wanted that bird down. Well, my boy Bucky, he's got his first Illinois bird down. He gets it tagged in. They load up, get in the truck, and they're off headed to Matt's home farm. Matt has two tags in his pocket that he can fill. Check this incredible footage out. That made me about deaf. I hope I didn't miss it. I didn't know you were going to shoot. Oh my goodness. Dude, how about that? Huh? Dude, what a day, bro. Did what you a get flipping day? I think I did, but you scared the doo doo out of me. I had a shot. Dude, can you believe it? Two birds, one set. <laughs> Let's go have a look at them. Yeah, and I was about, man, I was about ready to call it and just get back because it is blazing hot up here on this hill in the sun. Another nice bird. Look at the rope on him. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's take him over here with the other one. <laughs> Looks like about the same same class bird both got about almost identical beards and spurs full fans man that is awesome i have never had that happen before <laughs> and to top it off you got one early this morning we come over here hit up a few spots we ran running into birds all morning really and uh yeah, we were about to call it, and uh, we're sitting there, and all of a sudden, just boom, out of nowhere, he fires up, and uh, out they stroll. All happened within probably 20, 30 seconds. I shoot the one, get on the other, blast him too. I mean, yeah, like I said, that's just never happened, let alone three birds. We took three birds this morning, and uh, so yeah, it was an awesome morning. Awesome, beautiful morning out in the woods. Couldn't ask for much more. So as you guys saw, Matt doubles up on two birds. Buck is on the camera, and he just told you he just killed his first Illinois bird. So we're not real familiar with all the ins and outs, especially when it comes to doubling up on two birds in one sit. Obviously, Matt knew that he could do that. So Buck's filming Matt. He knows he's going to get one of them. And then all of a sudden, he gets two. Bucky was slightly slightly getting ready to have a panic attack. So Matt and Bucky pick up those two birds that Matt just knocked down. They get them tagged in. They head back to the main camp there at Matt's house, get the hero shots of all the birds they killed today, talk a little bit about their hunts. And I just want to take this opportunity to let you guys know God is very important to us, and that's our wholehearted mission here at Appointed Outdoors to 
share our love and passion for Christ and to share our love and passion for the outdoors and share our adventures as we go across the country. But we want to make sure we take this opportunity. If you don't know Jesus Christ, please feel free to reach out to Appointed Outdoors, any of our guys. We've got 20 guys across the country. Any of us would be happy to talk to you about them, tell you a little bit about what he's done in our lives and how he's changed our lives. And we know that he can change yours too. Again, guys, thank you so much for your support. We love you. We appreciate you. If you haven't already, make sure you go over to our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Hit that like, follow, and subscribe button. Check out our content that comes out. Make sure you tune in next week. Bucky and I are doing something we've never done. We're super excited about it. We're headed over to Summit Products where our Black River UTV racks are made. And we are spending the day with those guys. We're watching the products that we put on our UTVs with those Black River racks. All the products made in-house, American made. From start to finish, we're going to show you our experience that we had. Until then, God bless. Pointed Outdoors is brought to you by these fine sponsors.